Hi reception children and welcome to today's phonics lesson. We're going to start off with our speed sounds today. There are lots in here. Let's see what we've got. Here we go. K, k, caterpillar. K, x, x, exercise. X. Ooh, poo at the zoo. Ooh. Uh, look at a book. Uh. Or shut the door. Or ah, start the car. Ah, shh, shh, says the horse to the hissing snake. Shh. W, worm, w. A, may I play? A. R, robot. R. J, j, jack in the box. J. Y, y, yak. Y. Mm. A thing on a string. Mm. V vulture. V. Mk. I think I stink. Mk. E. What can you see? E. K. K. Kangaroo. Or leg, or eh, eh, egg, eh, F flower, B, B, boot, B, ah, uh, ah, uh, umbrella, ah, uh. zip, z. A chew, ch, thank you. I fly high. I qu qu queen qu d d dinosaur. Horse. Ah, ah, apple. Ah. T, t, tower. T. Mm, mountain. Mm. S snake. S oh, oh, orange. Oh. Insect. I. N. Net. N. P. P. Pirate. P. G. G. Girl. G. So that's our speed sound. There are quite a lot now. Well done. Let's find out what our phoneme of the day will be today. Okay, are you ready to find out our phoneme of the day? It's a digraph, so that's two letters that make one sound. And today our digraph of the day is uh. Can you say that? My turn, uh, your turn. My turn, uh, your turn. Great, and the rhyme that helps us to remember that is whirl and twirl. Can you see them all whirling and twirling? My turn, whirl and twirl. Your turn. Well done. So when we do our phoneme card with our speed sounds, this is what we'll say. Er, uh, whirl and twirl. Er, uh, your 
your turn to do it with me. Are you ready? Here we go. Uh, whirl and twirl. Uh. Great. Well done, everybody. OK, now we're going to read some words with our er digraph. I'm going to start whoops, by drawing the sound buttons here. We've got b. And can you see our digraph there? Er. Uh, OK, using my phonic fingers, it's my turn first. B, er, uh, d, bird. Your turn. Well done. OK, let's draw our sound buttons on the next word. D, er, uh, and t. Right, phonic fingers, my turn. D, er, uh, t, d. Your turn. Very good. Right, let's do the last one. I'll draw the sound buttons. We have g, uh, or. My turn. Phonic fingers g, uh, or. Girl. Your turn. Okay, well done. OK, now it's time for gotcha. So we're looking for our digraph of the day. Er. Uh, I wonder if you'll find it. You know what to do, don't you? If you see er, uh, you shout gotcha. Er, uh, er. Uh. Can you do that for me? Let's see, I'm going to hide it. Here we go. it here it is let's do it together uh whirl and twirl uh right let's have another go i'm gonna hide it again you found it well done let's do it again uh whirl and twirl uh, well done. OK, it's writing time now and we're going to start with our letter formation. So we start on the line and for er uh, we're going to sweep up, down the insect's body, keep our pen on the paper, sweep up, down the robot's body, over his arm and then we go back and do our dot. Let's try that again. So we remember I need to start on the line. I sweep up, down the insect's body, sweep up, down the robot's body and over his arm. And I go back and do my dot. Last one, starting on the line. I sweep up, down the insect's body, sweep up, straight down the robot's body, up and over his arm. And I go back and do a dot for the head. Well done, everyone. Uh, now we're going to write some er uh words. Our first er uh word is going to be girl. Let's use our phonic fingers to sound it out. G, er, or girl. You could pause now if you want to, to try and write it. Otherwise we can do it together. Starting on the line, we're going to our g, er, and then or girl. That's how we write girl. Right, our next word is twirl. That's a bit of a tricky one. Twirl. Let's use our phonic fingers and see if we can sound it out together. So we've got t, w, er, uh, or twirl. Right, so I'm going to write twirl. Let's start on the line. Sweep up straight down and across t w that's it uh and at the end we have or t w uh or all is a nice tall letter like that there we go so we've got girl and twirl our next word is going to be dirt can you say that 
dirt. Let's sound talk it together. D, uh, t, dirt. So I'm going to start on the line. I need d, up, sweep up round the dinosaur's tummy, up his long neck, down his tail. D. Then we have uh, which is our digraph of the day. And t, sweep up, straight down, flick, and then across. Dirt. Well done. OK, it's time for us to write a sentence now. And our sentence today is, the girl did a twirl. Let's see how many words that is. The girl did a twirl. Five words to write. And we're going to start with the word the. Now that's one of our red words. Do you remember how to spell it? We can't sound this one out. We just have to remember what it looks like. And because it's the start of a sentence, we need a capital letter. Oh, this is a tricky start to our sentence today. So we're writing the. I need my capital letter to start it. And I remember that the three letters I need are T, then H, and then E. And that spells the. The girl I need next. Let's sound talk girl. G, uh, oh, girl. Oh, I mustn't forget my finger space. Girl. G. Uh. Oh. The girl. Did is my next word. I need my finger space first. And I'm writing did. D. I. D. Did. Right, starting on the line. D. D. So, so far I have the girl did, I haven't got much room left up here, have I? No, so I'm going to move down to this line. It's the word A next, another red word. We know that A is an A on its own. The girl did A twirl. The girl did A Twirl. Okay. T w uh oh. Twirl. Mustn't forget my finger space. T w uh and oh. Twirl. Uh, all twirl. And what do I need at the end of my sentence? Have you remembered? That's right, I need one of those little dots called a full stop. Well done, everyone. Great work, everyone. You recognise our er digraph. You've had a go at reading it in words and writing it in words and sentences. A very big well done. Thank you for joining in today. And I'll be with you again next week for some more phonics. Bye for now.